Hi, I'm Sue Martin and Amelia and I are working on position things and we're going to talk about how working without stirrups can improve your security in your seat and your position. So she's going to drop her stirrups and cross them over the front of the saddle and we're going to stay still for just a second and talk about what we want as her ideal position without her feet in the stirrups. So one of the things that I see people do when they work without stirrups is they kind of forget about their legs and they let their toes drop down to the ground and they just kind of let their legs hang here. And we want our leg relaxed, but we still want it to be active and we still want it to be in the correct position. So she's going to have to think about pulling her toes up. She's got new boots, so that's going to be hard for her. <laughs> her toe up and her calf in contact with the horse so that she's still connected to him while she's without her stirrups. And then there's a few different exercises that you can do if you have a nice quiet horse like Fargo who will let you do a few things that can help you improve your seat and your independence. And a couple of them are really simple. They're just learning to rotate your knee and move your knee back and forth and you can just walk and do what we call a little scissor leg where you go back and forth with your leg. She can do a little legs away where she lifts her leg up and away from the saddle for a few moments and then rests it back down. And she can do a little what we call bicycling where she does one leg at a time and she lifts one leg and then the other and she's doing the other one on that side and this one on this side. And those are exercises to get your hip more independent from your body and your leg more independent from your seat. Um, so we're going to start with that and she's going to walk really relaxed and calm. He probably will ignore you moving your legs around just a little bit and that's okay. So she just moves her legs around so that she's learning to control where she puts her legs. That's good. And then she can try a little legs away in the trot. Now if you're not very secure you might want to put a grab strap on your saddle for this exercise and hold the front of the saddle while she takes your you take your leg away and sit down. Legs away if she wants to. See if her seat really is just, if her seat is really on the horse, that was good, then she should be able to take her leg and her thigh away from the horse and still stay securely in the saddle. She tries again, that's right, and she keeps following the motion with her upper body. Good.